All right, hello. This is some Singed gameplay in the top lane. We are playing against the Teemo. Very annoying matchup. We've met it before, right? And we treat it the same way, right? We don't go phase rush because we need to be able to get to him, right? So we go predator first, all right? And uh, this guy is running phase rush on Teemo, which is something. Um, definitely annoying. Great for disengaging, so... Uh, good on him uh, it is also a team of one trick right uh, with I think a 60% win rate in like plat plat 2 plat 1 so they're actually doing pretty well for themselves right uh, we start corrupting pot very very standard cuz um wow that quality wow <laughs> it, it looks like play-doh right now oh my goodness my internet this is what people saw when I was streaming. I can't even tell him, is that a minion? Ooh. Oh my God, it's getting worse. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, oh God. Is it, I, I can't, this is so distra- Oh, <laughs> it's so distracting. Um, it probably looks fine if you're on your phone but I have it blown up on my main monitor and sometimes it just kind of blurs out. It's, it's, oh wow. That is, <laughs> that is, that, that is something. But yeah, uh, so this is uh, Sinjin Timo. He's very, very annoying. He's a ranged top laner. He blinds you, he slows you, he runs away. He does a lot of damage if you don't run him down properly or if you don't kite him out, uh, which is hard to do because he's ranged and he has a lot of attack speed from his passive and poison and, you know, it's just all all this stuff that you don't want to deal with, right? So you don't. You don't need to deal with it. You don't need to fight Teemo. He d you don't need to kill him in lane, right? You can just focus on surviving lane. You don't want Teemo to get ahead on you, right? You want to keep your levels as close to him as possible. You can miss some CS as long as it's worth uh, the the gold that you lose. Or the HP that you... Just value like each minion, right? As we'll see here. That minion was worth 14 gold, right? So meaning you need 10 of those minions... All right, I mean, you need three of those minions to be worth a pot. Maybe three and a bit more, right? Which is 150 gold, or 150 HP. Oh my god, I'm stuttering like crazy. Um, so if you lose more than 150 HP and you don't get that gold back, it was just not worth it, right? And obviously you're not buying pots, okay? You're not going to be buying pots, but... Yeah, he just flashes away. I don't I don't I don't really know what Amumu was trying to do there, but whatever. Anyways, if if you're not going to be buying pots, but you should still value uh your HP as worth some form of gold, right? If you're full HP, maybe that's uh you know, 1000 gold and every time you take damage, you're losing gold, right? And don't don't be like like as long as you get something out of it, then it's fine, right? Or if you have something that helps mitigate that you're saving gold or saving losing gold, right? But you, you need to realize that valuing your HP is very, very important, especially in this kind of matchup where he's just going to try to poke you as much as possible, right? So taking free damage is not the play. It's going to be very, very uh, scary and um, it'll screw you in the long run because you'll be so behind and you can't walk up, right? So I took a lot of damage here. I popped all three pots. And I'm still 200 HP, like, not looking good. So, we go for the Dark Seal, because Dark Seal has a passive that gives 25% uh, bonus to our potions, right? So that means we're going to heal a lot more. It's actually very, very gold efficient, because we actually hold on to that item until we need that slot, right? Versus some other item, like a Doran's Ring, or a Doran shield, usually those get replaced very, very fast. But the, the ring stays useful as long as you still have a pot, or as long as you're like you're you're on like some sort of streak. 
Uh, I pop Predator here just to like get Teemo away from my tower, just to like back him up a bit so he gets scared. I wasn't actually going to go in. It's fine to just kind of use Predator to uh, be aggressive. It's the same way as using Blitzcrank W randomly in lane when you're bot lane, right? You press W and you walk forward and they automatically back off. It's like habit and also they're just being scared, right? They don't know if you're actually going to go in or not, but the likelihood is that you are. But you don't have to, right? You create some space and a little bit of breathing room uh, for uh, your, not just, you know, you, but for your bot lane, right? For your ADC. The, and it works the same way here with the Predator. Uh, same thing as like randomly throwing out a W. Obviously, I'm not going to say that you should just throw, down, throw out your W randomly, right? But people do back up right because it, it's usually one of the things that is like you know people are going to go in right activating righteous glory and walking forward or randomly pressing ults right i'm not saying you should waste them right but definitely has it definitely has some value as being a bait right flip teemo we're just we're not here to kill him right we're just here to run around uh i knew that a mumu was coming right and I make sure to stay back just a little bit, right? Walk out of the mushroom, right? And obviously he can't like burst me for 300 right there, right? I let myself regen a little bit on the side. Amumu was taking the brunt of the damage and then we can, uh, we can go back in. Uh, I don't even get close to dying here. That was not even close. Uh, I'm not worried. Uh, I do not die here, trust me. <laughs> uh, I was hoping that he would just run up uh, middle. Uh, that's why I threw a W down, but what I should have done is held it, right? And put W right in front of the tower as he came in, right? Then he wouldn't have been able to just like Q me, right? Because it's like mostly melee, right? And then maybe I could have gotten away, or he would have died, or, you know, something better would have happened. But I did waste my W, throwing it where it's somewhere somewhere where he wasn't, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's alright. Now, I will remember that I should just hold W for Warwick when he comes up to me, rather than throwing it blindly. Because he had movement speed from his W. Right, because I was like 10 HP. Okay, maybe like 30. I was like 30 HP, right? So he's getting a lot of movement speed. Right? So he, if he walked through the W, it would have been fine because he just had a lot of movement speed. He could just go around. Right? And actually, it was actually, I'm pretty sure it was faster to just go through Tribush instead of going up mid, like through the middle, through river. So. Again, we kind of go on Teemo. We're not really trying to fight him for too much. Um, we just want him to take a little bit of damage and back up. Obviously, he's going to do a lot more damage than us. We only have a Blasting Wand while he has probably 300 gold more of AP. 400? Uh, I flip a minion here. I'm not sure what my mouse placement was about there. I flash the Mastery because I, I'm not a wimp. <laughs> Yeah, so far, it looks like Oriana's doing well into Aurelia, which is usually kind of rare to see, but, like, I don't know. Some Sometimes these Aurelias are, like, really, really good. They're, like, TF Blade. And then sometimes they're, they're like, a Silver Yasuo player or something. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, we haven't died in this lane, really, aside from, you know, getting ganked by Warwick. Uh, other than that... Uh, we've held our ground. Um, we are back on CS, which is fine, right? We're down a lot of CS. We're down, I think, 40 CS, which is like six waves, seven waves, seven waves of CS, which is not looking good, right? We're down a lot of gold, all right? But as long as we don't just randomly die for no reason, it's all right of a sacrifice, right? We're usually not in a whole lot of danger of being too low in this lane, which is really, really nice, and that's something that needs to happen, right? You can't risk unless you're going to be able to 
tank the phase rush Teemo, who's just gonna to spam on you, I guess. He's, he'll just spam. That's not good. Yeah, Teemo leaves, so I kind of walk towards mid. Because I, I know Warwick's around. Right? And I hope Warwick, like, walks up so I can do, like, a sort of counter gank. Right? But he just sort of leaves. So. Then I go by. This is kind of trolling because I'm not in my lane. It's very obvious that I'm not there. And I, I hope that, like, Warwick just shows up bot. You know? Maybe. Maybe it happens. You know? If it does, it's really good because it's a counter gank. And we roll everyone. But if it if it doesn't, then it's I lose a lot of XP top. But so far, Teemo is still not showing top. Seems like he, he's waiting on gold or something. And my read is correct. Um... Warwick does come, right? I flip, you know, like let him get stunned by a Mimu. I walk through tower, right? Oh no, right? We're still regening a lot, right? We have a lot of uh, our resist. A Mimu sort of kind of goes in alone, which is sort of odd. I'm, I'm not really sure about that, but Samira gets a kill on Senna. We also kill Warwick just a little bit earlier. And we wipe Ash, and then mid lane kills Aurelia. Almost an ace. If Teemo, uh, you know, showed up somewhere, um, that would have been an ace, right? But my my thought process of going bot uh, paid off pretty well. Uh, it was a z what zero for three bot lane, and a one for zero mid, right? So we came up four four kills up. I should do more PvE content. Not just Singed, I feel like it was like two builds for Singed on PvE. There's the Burning build, and then there's like the Sustain build, and that's it. That is, I don't know, AD Singed? Movement Speed Singed? I played like three games of that, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I don't, I don't know, it's just not that, like I feel like you waste so much like putting so much gold into Movement Speed, when you just take Phase Rush. Or something else. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I just need to someone to open my eyes. But I think it's not that great. The burning is really nice. Um, you can just kind of run at people, right? You get a lot of movement speed anyway. Yeah, we, we don't want to walk too forward in the lane. It's not that we're scared of the enemy Warwick. It's that it doesn't. we don't need to be too crazy, right? We don't need to be like sandwiching ourselves too close to the Teemo's tower. Because I know there's like shrooms all around, right? There's no way. I hug this wall here just in case there's shrooms like in the middle of the river there. And then uh, I just sort of walk down, meet up with my team. They they ping uh, Teemo, they want to gank the Teemo. But uh, Warwick randomly comes in. Uh, not really sure what he's trying to achieve. Um, he just sort of walks into four people. Slightly concerning. Um, I go for this Aurelia here. Oh wait, I, I go for the center there, but I get stunned up. Good stun by Aurelia, very well done. So I just kind of blow my ult, which is okay. Um, but Ash gets picked up, and then Senna gets picked up, and then Aurelia gets goo flipped, and then Samira does Samira things. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to do the giveaway. I was supposed to do a giveaway at 750 subs, or like 740 before 750. I was supposed to do that, but uh, I forgot. Uh, last giveaway was at 500, we're at 750 now, 754, 752, I don't know. Uh, I check every now and then just to be like, ah, oh, that feels good, that's kind of cool. But aside from that, then like, you know, it's okay. Uh, flip the Warwick off of the Oriana, 
was getting a little dicey, right? This this is still like I don't know. This Teemo has done absolutely nothing. Here's Samira, uh, not doing anything, um, but be Samira. Uh, I, I I still think that that shouldn't be in the game. <laughs> I think it's a little ridiculous um, to be able to essentially double the time of like knockups and stuff. Like I think that's a little. I don't know. I think that's a little weird. It's definitely very, very cool, but why? Why? Why, why did you do this? But yeah, Warwick is going in, so I look for a TP. Nautilus, thank god, tanks the tower there. I want to save the Samira, right? Throw the W down, flip Aurelio away, right? I tank the Warwick ult by walking slightly into him, right? And I'm here to bait, right? Samira sadly dies here, which is unfortunate, but she can only take so much damage, right? And Teemo, whatever reason, is... I, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this Teemo, but he gives me, on a nice platter, a triple kill, right? Uh, and then someone calls a surrender vote. <laughs> uh, Teemo says, holy shit, right? Team Gap. The thing is, he didn't leave lane with one time you cannot complain about your team okay i'm uh, dude i'm so bad at typing man but yeah i just say he stayed top the entire game he literally did not go anywhere aside from top i i do not remember him showing up anywhere else right Teemo ganks are very deadly he does a lot of damage like you can camp top the entire game but like I was gone from top for like for like half the game and my turret is still up so I don't know what this Teemo was doing but it clearly wasn't like useful but yeah then I plug the stream right because I know this guy's salty right this is what you got to do you got to rub salt into the wound right if you meet this guy again he's going to be really really angry right his emotions are going to be peaking okay he says nobody cares XD. This is guy, this guy's a Teemo main, all right? 60% win rate, and then he just his he literally did nothing. He did nothing, right? You can make sure of it by just going somewhere else. Like what is what is this guy doing, huh? He's tilted. Okay, he just walked into an Oriana and a singed, right? Now he just goes quiet. He doesn't say any more, right? Because he knows he lost. Verbally and in the game. You just gotta tilt people, okay? I know it sounds awful, right? It sounds awful, but that's that's just what you gotta do, right? Flip Warwick back, right? He gets a really good fear and then he jumps away. Uh I I'm really unfortunate. But that's okay. Uh really it says the classic singed 020 if it's on my team. But somehow nobody can play against it. On the enemy team, I assume. Yeah, um, I just existed harder than this Teemo did. Who didn't even take first tower even though I was gone. So, hey, free games. All around. Very nice. Uh, very, very dominant game. I just wanted to show, like, you know, hey, screw Teemo. Nautilus gets a little greedy there, but uh, hey, that was a good game. I think next video will be the, the giveaway announcement, I think. I'll do that uh, for, I guess, tomorrow. I'm trying to do like daily uploads along with streaming. Uh, the quality, honestly, like, like at the beginning of the game, it was really bad, but I think as long as like... You know, it looks fine. You know, if it's readable for most of the game, then it's fine. You don't need to worry about it. Wait, yeah, I checked that win rate though. 49% win rate. Ooh. Oh god. Yeah. Teemo one trick. I don't, I don't know if it's like a like it's it's like a Teemo only account. They have all Teemo games and one game on NAR where they went like 0 7. <laughs> But yeah, this this guy was tilted.
very very tilted oh yeah on the a different game i played shen and i got rolled uh by riot meow meow something right and apparently that person's getting boosted that riot member is getting boosted or their account their account is like hacked because they're doing with the chinese graves who also duos with a different top laner who plays the same exact three champions that riot meow something i don't know what their name is meow doom meow meow something um is also playing all of a sudden uh their past ranked history was all supports the top 10 champions eight of them were support it was like Janna, leona brahm thresh nami whatever and then suddenly they start playing a bunch of top lane and winning like 70 percent of the games which is very very odd is they're doing with this graves who also do is with the same top laner with the same three champions who also duos with a different account that also plays with graves uh it's it's very strange i, I don't know if anyone's addressed it I, I saw it on twitter and i was like wait i played against that guy the other day and i was like that guy was playing very officially because they've never played darius before and suddenly they're just rolling and i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be like you know Oh, I was I was doing good at Shen, right? I got a triple kill. I was like 5-1, okay. But this guy was playing really, really well. Okay, that's that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, please. So we can do more giveaways and stuff. Next video will be a giveaway, hopefully. Um I'll do like a proper edit or something. I don't know. Maybe like a montage. We'll we'll do like a like my old clips i have a bunch of old clips saved and i'll just like upload them maybe we'll see uh yeah if you enjoyed it let me know uh stay safe stay hydrated um don't slouch stop slouching i know you're slouching or you're in bed right now and just go to sleep or you just woke up and uh have a nice day eat a good breakfast um yeah I don't, I don't know sometimes I, I have stuff to say and sometimes I don't and this is one of those times where I, I just don't remember what I was going to say so next <laughs>